Is it possible to catch pond fish in the middle of the hot summer? Yes, it is. Well, if so, where? Well, there are two places. The thickest, heaviest cover on that pond, whether that's weeds or brush or whatever might be on there, probably moss would be a good example. Um, fish, fish the moss. Um, and then the second place would be the deepest hole in that pond. I know of a pond that's got 18 foot of water and then it comes up and it flattens out and there's a lot of cover, but in the summertime those fish just set right down the bottom of that 18 foot hole. And I could sit right on top of them in a little boat and just catch them all day long. So look for the deepest part of the pond and look for the heaviest cover in that pond. All right. Okay. Is there much difference? This is a great question. Is there much difference between company A and company B lures? You know, I've got all kinds of tackle boxes in my bass boat, right? And they come from, all, I'm not sponsored by anybody, so they come from all different companies. So my opinion is not biased because I'm not being paid to fish a certain lure. Um, the answer is no. <laughs> I don't care what anybody else tells you. When these pros pitch these lures and they got a specific this and a specific that, that makes them all the difference in the world. And because of that difference, they just catch fish more than if they used any other lure. Is nothing more than a sales pitch. Lures are designed to catch fishermen more than they are to catch the fish. The reality is a lure is nothing more than a tool in a toolbox, all right? The knowledge in your head based on experience, websites like this that teach you how to be successful, far more important, far more important than what company lures you might fish. At the end of the day, you know, you're, if you throw the lure with the, at the right depth, at the right speed, I don't care what it is, you're gonna catch something. You take one of these, you know, lures that are purported to be the most outstanding thing in the whole wide world. You know, here, this lure right here, believe it or not, is, is a $25 lure. Isn't that stupid? Okay, well, is that better than a $10 lure? Well, as long as my wife doesn't see this video, it, no, it's not, okay? Uh, it's really not. So, what's important to understand is back in the day, it really was a big difference. It was a huge difference back in the day. But today, the quality of these lures coming from all the primary manufacturers are so good that all you need to focus on is which one is the tool I need today. Is it the wrench, the screwdriver, the hammer, you know, what is it? Which tool is going to best help me determine where and catch fish today in, given the conditions that I'm fishing? So no, in my opinion, there isn't any difference. Uh, how do you determine when it's time to move on to another spot? Well, that's, that's the age-old question, isn't it? Uh, here's what I would tell you. Um, if you're like me and you prefer to fish for aggressive active fish versus neutral and negative fish, uh, then you're probably looking at 10 or 15 minutes, at the most 15 minutes, and, and, and trying various lures, running at different depths, okay, from slow like a worm or a jig to fast like a crankbait. Once you've tried a variety of lures at different depths on that spot, then guess what, it's time to move on. And it should take you no more than 10 or 15 minutes in order to be able to do that. So, I hope those have helped you a little bit. I know those are questions. I get a lot of those same questions repeated over and over and over and over, and so I hope that helps answer some of your questions. Now, you know, I appreciate y'all tying into this website, um, learntobassfish.com, as well as my blog. Uh, as you know, I'm not sponsored by anybody, so I don't, uh, I don't have any, um, any, any uh, thing on my heart other than helping you be more successful. And I really appreciate the comments. Many of you have made comments on my, uh, uh, both in terms of emailing me, but also many of you have gone to the YouTube videos and have made very, very nice and positive comments. And after, I don't know, three or four years of doing this, Knock on wood, nobody's made a negative comment yet. I want to just tell you I appreciate that. That means we're doing something right. So until next time, uh, you know, we'll see you back here again on learntobassfish.com. Again, this is Clay Dixon. And listen, go and watch the videos. Click on the link. Go to the blog. Watch the blog videos. You know, the links on the website are all about bass fishing. The blog is just about catching fish, period. 
and I fished some of the toughest lakes ever <laughs> uh, on the blog in the state of Kansas. But what you learn there, you can apply to wherever you live. You don't have to live in Kansas. You don't have to be on Lake of the Ozarks in Missouri. I don't care where you are in the country, you can learn from both the videos on the website as well as the blog. And if you feel like it, hey, sign up on the website so that when, when every time we send out a posting like this, I also send out an email with more detail and that sort of thing as well. So if you're not on that, you're missing out on, on those free things, and they're all free. And, you're, and when you give me your email, guess what? It goes absolutely nowhere uh, except for me to send you a notice when we've done a new posting. So hey, thanks a lot. Till next time, Clay Dixon, LearnToBassFish.com. Thanks.